Howdy folks. My name is David and I work here at Figma for EDU as the education learning specialist. One of my favorite things to do is help you feel more successful in using FigJam with your students. In today's video, we are going to walk you through how to start off using FigJam in a classroom setting. I'll first go over what students need to know about our tools and features and then show you the magic of using FigJam in a collaborative setting. Now, if you personally are new to FigJam, I recommend clicking up in the top hand right corner right now to check out how to navigate our open Canvas model. Without any further ado, let's jump in and jam. The first thing students will need to do in FigJam is practice using our tools. I highly, highly encourage a phased approach to this by first starting off your students in their own file. This is so that they can become familiar and fluent with the tools before being placed in a collaborative and sometimes maybe even higher stakes setting. A great first file for this is, well, the first lesson in FigJam template that is linked in the video description below. You can also find this file in our template library at figma.com slash at K12 education. This is a full lesson that will walk students through the features such as our pen tool, our highlighters, and even the eraser for those of us like me that are so thankful erasers when you make mistakes. As this lesson progresses, students will also have a chance to learn and practice how to best contribute ideas during a class brainstorm, reflection, or a discussion with tools such as sticky notes, shapes, connectors, and so much more. Lastly, in this activity, students will be introduced to the wonderful world of widgets, that was a mouthful, where they can snap a selfie, add a voice memo, and play around with stickers. Now, if using someone else's template is not your jam, no worries at all, you can absolutely create an intro lesson for your students from scratch by heading to your browser and typing in bigjam.new. You can build out the lesson of your dreams here. A few things I would encourage you to consider are using sections to divide up the infinite canvas. This creates a strong architecture to your file and allows for students to clearly see where the individual activities are much like pages in other tools. Now, as a former teacher who has used FigJam in the classroom, I'd encourage you to budget anywhere from two to five sessions for kids to practice the FigJam tools on their own. You could even sprinkle in some fun design challenges like having kids build a sticky note person, draw a cartoon over an image, or even map out the first three things they did this morning. Just have fun with it, make it personal, make it you. Once you feel that students have grasped the tooling in FigJam, it is now time to introduce them to the magic of collaborating in a FigJam file with their peers. Now, at this point, you may be tempted to throw your entire class into a file, but I would encourage you to start your kids off in small groups, as the collaborative features in FigJam are probably unlike anything they've seen before in a collaborative tool. A great first file to do this is, well, the first group lesson in FigJam, which is linked in the video description below. This will allow for your students to write out their favorite things, snap an epic selfie, and get to know their peers in their group. If you have more than five students per group, you can select the far right section, make a copy by hitting Control C, Control V, or Control D. If you have less than five students per group, you can simply select the sections that are not needed and hit the delete button on your keyboard. Now, once you've made the file that's gonna be for all groups, you're going to name the first file according to your preferred naming conventions, and then duplicate each group and change the name as to differentiate the files from one another. Then you can share the files with your students. For me, I used Google Classroom to assign group work, so my assignments, including FigJam files like this, would look a little something like you see right now. Alrighty, so I showed you one example of a group lesson template, but please, please, please feel free to peruse any of the other templates in our library that you think would make for a great first lesson for your students as they work in FigJam together in small groups. Now, finally, once you feel that your students have perfected the art of collaborating in FigJam, it is now time to bring them all into the same file. Just a heads up, this is the most advanced way to use FigJam. So if you've skipped ahead to watch this chapter, of the video, I'd encourage you to click back and watch from the beginning to see the recommended progression of introducing students to FigJam. All right, all right, all right. At this point, your students now know how to individually use our tools in FigJam and have even explored successful experiences in collaborating with their peers. The next file I would encourage you to use is linked in the video below and has the most exciting name ever. It's called the first lesson for the whole class. I mean, super creative name, David, I, I know. 
This lesson is a series of activities that brings the whole class together. Here, students can draw self-portraits, vote on where they want to visit, learn about one another's travel desires, and even display their favorite songs, foods, shows, slash movies. The final activity is a series of polarizing questions that are sure to spark some exciting classroom discussion. This template is hefty, so don't feel like you have to start your students off in one, this file and doing it all in one day. Spread it out over a few days or even choose or create another Fig Jam board for your students to all work in. In summary, and as someone who has made all of the mistakes using Fig Jam in the classroom, I highly encourage you to take the phased approach of starting students off in their own file and then working your way up to having kids collaborate together in Fig Jam boards. Now, that's all folks. Please check out all of the resources that I've mentioned and are linked below in the video description. Thank you for watching and as always, happy jamming.